This is not something that's exclusive to a certain tax bracket, exclusive to a certain nationality, exclusive to a certain gender. Everyone has a spirit. Everyone has something that lies beyond the surface. But not many people know to search beyond the surface because they're just comfortable living a superficial surface life. And they wonder, why do I have to think more beyond this? I'm fine just the way I am. And to a certain degree, that's true. But do you want to stay at the status quo or are you someone who's ambitious enough, who is brave enough, who is adventurous enough to dare to live a life that is greater than normal. Hey guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. In this video, I will talk about the essential question of who am I? Have you ever asked yourself, who am I? If I asked you, who are you? Your gut response is to say, I'm Linda. But if your name wasn't your name, would you still be the same person? you would still have the same body. So then beyond your name, maybe people might talk about their nationality. Like me, I'm Korean, okay? If you weren't Korean, if you weren't your nationality, would you still be the same person? And then after, someone might say that they're their religion or their belief, their political party or their, their job position or their accomplishments, every, there's so many things, so many categories that people can say, this is who I am. But think about this for a minute. Let's say, knock on wood, don't ever pray that this will happen. Let's say that you got into a car accident and you caught amnesia. Let's say all the information that you knew about yourself, you lost it. You forgot who you were. You're a blank slate, but you still have the same body. You still look the same. Are you still the same person? Some people might argue yes, but I wanna challenge that thought to think about this. Beyond your physical body, beyond this mass of muscles and bones and ligaments and cells, beyond this, there's something that makes you who you are. And if you're into energy practice or spiritual practice, sometimes we refer to that as your spirit. So to make spirit a little bit easier to understand, think about it like this. Think about a dead person and a live person. What's the difference between these two? Dead person, their physical body is still there. You still see them lying down like this. Their body is still here, but they're not moving. They're not breathing. They're not talking. They're not laughing. There's no life inside of them. There's no spirit inside of them. But a live person like me, what makes me different? Like you too. You're moving, you're talking, you're perceiving things. You have spirit that drives your energy, drives your body, drives your behaviors, your thoughts, your emotions, drives your actions to do these sorts of things. Another word for spirit is consciousness. Another word for consciousness is soul. So in brain education, we refer to this as your true self. And we call that true self because this is your essence, who you are beyond your physical body, beyond your name, beyond your nationality, beyond your religion, beyond your gender, beyond all of those labels. If you are a blank slate, you are still alive, you are still functioning, but you have a different identity now. If you cut amnesia, so that identity that we establish throughout our lives, we call that our false self because it has a finite end. If you catch amnesia from that point on, you can try to recollect all the memories of your old self that you have, but you will never totally 100% be the same identity as you were before you caught amnesia. And because that identity is something that can be broken, shattered, and changed, those identities, are what we call the false self because that is not truly and who you are deep down inside beyond those labels. So when I ask the question, who am I? Who are you? What are some of the things that now come to your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Who are you? 
It's a difficult question. I know it. It stretches your brain. It makes you think differently. It maybe gives you a headache. Oh my god, too complicated. But that's a good thing for your brain because it challenges you to think outside of the box, to expand your brain beyond the limits that you have placed on it so far. So who are you? For me, when I asked myself, "Who am I?" I found the answer as I am light. If I caught amnesia and had to rebuild my identity, the thing that remains inside of me is my spirit, which I believe is light. And because I have found that identity of I am light, I am working to spread that light. So that is why I do this YouTube channel to spread the identity that I found myself as, and to help other people awaken that identity within as well. So maybe when you ask yourself this question of who am I, maybe you too found the answer. I am light. That's cool. Other people will come up with different identities, different ways to establish themselves, different ways to describe themselves, and that's all okay. There's no right or wrong answer. The important part is people understand that there is something beyond your physical body, beyond success, beyond the life that you already know. And we actually see clues that there must be something more to life than money and fame, because there's so many stories of people who are so rich, so famous, but they have suicidal tendencies and they feel lonely and depressed. This is not something that's exclusive to a certain tax bracket, exclusive to a certain nationality, exclusive to a certain gender. Everyone has a spirit. Everyone has something. That lies beyond the surface, but not many people know to search beyond the surface because they're just comfortable living a superficial surface life, and they wonder why do I have to think more beyond this? I'm fine just the way I am, and to a certain degree, that's true. But do you want to stay at the status quo, or are you someone who is ambitious enough, who is brave enough, who is adventurous enough to? Dare to live a life that is greater than normal. I think everyone has that, and I think because people have that, they work very hard for success because they want to live a life that's extraordinary. Everyone has that seed of living their best life, and if you truly want to live your best life, you must know of yourself beyond the surface. Dare to seek for it. Dare to. Go out there and find what that is, and that journey to find what that is starts with this question: Who am I? I am not my name. I am not my thoughts. I am not my emotions. I am not even really this body. I am not my accomplishments. I am not my wealth. I am not my fame. I am not. All of these labels that people just identify as. Say that to yourself. And if you're not all these things, then what are you? If all of these things were gone, would you still be the same person? Would you still be alive? Would you still be here? Who are you? I made a meditation video about meditating to find and ask myself, "Who am I?" So I'll link that down in the description below. Follow along to that meditation that I guided with my voice. If you can't find the answer immediately, don't worry. That is normal. It takes practice, connection, dedication, and sincerity to really go deep inside of yourself, beyond the surface, to feel and know who you are. It takes practice. So please connect and ask yourself every single day, who am I? Who am I? When you're when you have some free time, when you're bored, who am I? Is this really all there is to me? Is there something more to myself than what I know? Ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Incessantly, it's like knocking on a door until it opens. Keep knocking, even if you have to break down that door. If you really want to go through to the other side, keep knocking. Who am I? 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 And let me know in the comments below what you find, what you experience, any questions, comments, anything. I really, really want to hear what your answer is. Who are you?